More now on the coronavirus tests for essential workers promised by the government. The new online site for booking those tests in England has stopped taking requests just hours after opening. Downing Street says the 5,000 daily capacity for home testing kits was reached two minutes after the website went live this morning. Around 15,000 tests were also requested at drive through sites. Well, Dame Donna Kinnair is the General Secretary and Chief Executive of the Royal College of Nursing and uh, she joins me now live. Thank you so much for joining us on BBC News. Um, I, I wonder, um, Donna Kinnair, how do you feel about the government's plans to test all essential workers? Do you think that health workers should be given priority or do you think that this is right? So I think we, we need a stage where health uh, workers are given priority because actually uh, it's health workers that have been providing the care. So if I just take my example today, I've been at the Nightingale Hospital and actually in order for us to go there, we do have to be tested if we're showing symptoms to be able to not take time off and to be able to deliver the right care for our patients. But just reference to your earlier conversation about lifting the lockdown. Um, we know that we, we haven't infected enough of the population with this virus. So for any lifting of any lockdown to be successful, we need not only to be able to test healthcare workers, but also to track and trace patients or people, um, not just patients in hospital, but people outside of hospital or people that are coming into hospital for various other reasons, not just for COVID. And, and really, we do need far more testing capacity. And so it's great that we've reached 51,000, but you can see how much more we do need, both for the community, but also to make sure the population in general is tested so that we can understand where where second peaks are, cut, are arising from in order to be able to monitor patients in any lifting of a lockdown. I mean, we've heard repeatedly that the, the capacity for testing is increasing, um, but those tests aren't being taken up. I mean, what are you hearing from your members? Are they still having difficulty getting to places to be tested? So there is some of that, but we know that in the last week or so, the government as uh, alongside public health have ramped up the testing. And actually we've got some mobile testing that actually is going into care homes. So it's fine if you're, a, if you're working in a hospital and you can get tested at that hospital if you're beginning to develop symptoms. But we must recognize, you know, it's not easy for somebody to travel to some of the new sites. And what we were hearing is that, um, you know, if you've got to drive for two hours or three hours, that's not feasible, particularly if you're feeling unwell. So it was it's welcomed that we've now got um, more sites opening up. It's welcome that we actually have mobile um, testing going into care homes. And actually, because we know that some of those residents in care homes cannot get out to any testing site. So we need to go into them to understand and uh, um, how to test them, but also to make sure that actually we're tracking what's going on in care homes so that we can set up some different areas so that, that people, so if you've got um, coronavirus in a care home, you might need to have patients cohorted differently. And what about the other issue of uh, personal protective equipment? Um, are nursing staff still having problems getting enough supply? Well, our latest survey shows that half of the nursing staff um, that responded to it and those working in some high risk areas have felt pressure to carry out their work without the right levels of protection that is in the official guidance. So. Um, it is true that they are struggling and this is you know this is without looking at all healthcare settings really um, and what we do know is that if they do not have access to the right personal protection equipment then they are in fear of their own safety but also for that of their patients because one of the things that protective equipment is is not just protecting you but also stopping the spread um, wherever you are working. Okay. Dame Donna Kinnair uh, from the Royal College of Nursing, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.